A very good afternoon to you. It's Dr. Anand here with my friend Steve. Steve Wilkinson or Steve Wheel Can Sell. Wheel Can Sell. We can sell any wheel any you wheel, like. Anywhere. Well, there are floppy wheels, hard wheels, <laughs> narrow wheels, thin wheels. If I get orders for wheels now and inquiries. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, something interesting is going to happen. We are soon going to have people on uh, Skype. Uh, you, you're going to bring some guests in today, aren't you? Yes, we're going to have a, a special International Wheelchair Day program today. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's 10 days until International Wheelchair Day on Sunday 1st of March. Yeah. We've just found out today we've got a special table tennis game, a wheelchair table tennis going to take place at Heaton Mosque with Zafar. So, say that very slowly. Zafar Bhatti. Zafar Bhatti, our wonderful No, he's not, a, he's not Nora Bhatti. Nora Bhatti. He's Zafar Bhatti. Zafar Bhatti. Bhatti. Our wonderful uh, meal cook, curry yes. cook. Okay, we gave and with a cook. gorgeous, lovely, small beard. <laughs> yeah. He has enticed three of you white Englishmen <laughs> to go to the mosque not to pray, but to play table, table tennis, tennis in, a which I think is, in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. You in a, yes, it's, and it's marvelous. So who all are going? You're going. So we're going. We're going to get Tom Fennick Brown to go, and we'll make it one or two so more. So Tom Fennick Brown, who's neither in the Phoenix department nor is he brown in color, <laughs> <laughs> and and me, and and uh, we haven't got anybody. But the doc's going to come with his camera. Yes, I'll, I'll film and the whole film thing. Film it, and so we'll put it's that on out the first, isn't it? And Sunday the first of Mar May, March, sorry, at two o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to film it. We're going to film it, and then we'll run it on on radio okay, on one of yes. our shows. And so, uh, but that's a that's okay. a bringing everybody together to celebrate Wheel International Wheelchair Day. So that's great. It's. Zafar, but he's going to put that great event together. No, I mean, I mean, Zafar is a canny lad, mind. He's a canny lad. Oh, he's, yes, he's he, just an, he, another he, Jordi, you know. Yes, he is. He's he's one of us. Hi, he's and certainly uh, one of us. He wears a Newcastle scarf, but he doesn't support them. But the so, only problem is he's got a pen that is mightier than the sword. <laughs> it yes, explodes. It's a dangerous pen. Yes, and it, I have to say that he gave me a lovely curry last week, which didn't explode as much as we feared. So that ah. was, uh, but my wife wouldn't go anywhere near okay. me for a couple of days. With, okay. Down my do, do do you mind if I play some very soft music from the internet in the meantime not at all and no. it'll just to remind my asian friends that we do also like hindi film music but what we are doing now is completely different and we are doing a show on uh, wheelchairs and it is in english uh, we haven't given up speaking hindi or urdu but the whole point is that we are also here and i talk about integration by that i mean celebrate christmas get involved i mean getting three white failed christians I, even me, a Hindu, I never think of it like that, but I'm just stating the obvious is going to Heaton Mosque and not even to pray, but to play table tennis. Is it pray table tennis or play? Play table tennis. Because I remember Bill Gates used to say <laughs> plug and pray. No, was it plug, plug and pray? <laughs> You've got a lift. Have you lift. got a lift? <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I can't say this, it's a bit, a bit crude. I won't say it today. I'm just being very polite today. So we're expecting some people. Yes, from the now what, what this is, International Wheelchair Day, I started in, 1st of March 2008. So this is the 8th annual International Wheelchair Day. And in 2011, uh, it, people found it on the internet and started contributing to it. In 2011, our first guest, which will be coming on about quarter past 12, is a young lady called Hannah Enso from Oxford. Hannah Enso, Hannah from, Enso from Oxford. Uh -huh, UK. Hannah does some brilliant cartoons. She's got a, a, a website called Stickman Communications. She does humour about disability and some really great stuff that you get on there and you can buy little books and pens and all sorts of things so so she's she, making disability non-disabled people well, yes, friendly uh, it, it, I think it's educational that some of the yes, stuff she does because yes, yes. it, 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 it takes a lighter look at disability and the challenges instead of being heavy things. and yeah, passing laws and, and, yes, and all that and yes. so Hannah's going to come on about quarter past 12 Hannah's uh, greatly contributed to International Wheelchair Day over the years because she first did a logo in 2011 and I invited her to do the logo every year. So she, every year since, she's designed the official logo. So if you go to the, the website, which is www.internationalwheelchairday.com. www.internationalwheelchairday.com. Yes, all one word, International Wheelchair Day. And if you have a look on there, logos are all over the place. You can download the official logo from the top and use it for your event. And these are all Hannah's designs, so it's helping Hannah to get the get her beautiful cartoon sketches out in the in the world. So she's going to come and because you know you can make something so precious that people don't want to talk. I mean, if uh, you know, I had an attitude to wheelchair, people in wheelchair, right? I have, I like yes. it. <laughs> but if you were, how dare you say this all the time? Oh yes. You go to McDonald's. I would. I I, I taught in McDonald's, by the way, about uh, equality, diversity. Yeah. 
And usually people's answer would be, I treat everyone the same. Well, no, you can't treat everyone the same. Mm -hmm. I don't stick my hand out to a Muslim woman in a burqa to shake her hand because she'll mind. Yes. That's my experience. Yeah. I won't give a child the same amount of food as a given adult mm -hmm. because it's not right. I won't give a baby portion to an adult. Yes. You know, so it's it's about being open yes. and seeing what hurts and doesn't work. You see, when I came to the UK in he um, Heathrow Airport, one of the first few things I noticed apart from many was this old lady was on her bended knees talking to her grandchild. And I thought, you know, she's really coming down to his or her level. Well, people don't always know what to do. You know that, you know, it's obviously sitting talking to me if you want to be on Well, what level. they know how to do is to just shut up and ignore you. <laughs> yes. Isn't it? You go anywhere. Oh, don't look at oh, him. I might Yes, you might catch might catch a disease yes, called wheelchair ness. <laughs> Isn't it? Possibly. Or, yes. or whether it's wheelchairs or Muslims or gays but or Hindus people, or Indians. You know, I've tried to get I've, I've run training courses when I've tried to get somebody to sit in a wheelchair and they're frightened because they might catch something. <laughs> you know, I just say just see what it's like. Just I don't want you to do anything other uh -huh. than sit in that wheelchair uh -huh. and and get involved in the course. So what, what what do they think they'll catch? Wheelchair well, ness, well, a ur they urine might infection. Catch my disability they might catch spina bifida that I've got. <laughs> <laughs> only way to they catch it. a little bit on the seat. The only, only thing is catch it, marry night. you and have a child with it. You can't uh, catch yeah. it. Okay. So, the, that's, so Hannah's going to come on first at about quarter past 12. And then just after 12.30, we've got another lady who's going to come in from Austria. We're going to spread out. Say that again. A from lady, Oxford Aust to Austria. Austria. Yes. Now, we're not... Uh, a lady's called Cecile Knapp. Now, I first got connected with Cecile in 2012. Uh -huh. On the 27th of February, she sent me an email to tell me that they were going to have a big rally in Kathmandu in Nepal. Kathmandu, Nepal? Nepal. Okay. And it was a rally by the Spinal Injuries Rehabilitation Centre, where right. lots of people with wheelchairs. And one of the problems in Kathmandu, I haven't been there myself, but I would love to go and, and, and get involved with these great guys and, and girls is that the access isn't brilliant around the streets and the pavements and into the buildings. So they had this rally to to highlight this fact and they got politicians involved. And I think they've made changes over the years. And Cecile has been involved with them every year and gone out. Now they've done, that first rally had 90 wheelchair users oh paraded through the streets. The following year, in 2013, they had 126. Now the great thing about that year is that we, we got them to, to do the, the official banner. So they've got a banner where they've actually got Hannah's logo on the banner walking through the streets of Kathmandu. So there's Hannah from Oxford, thinks she's going to do local stuff on the UK. Then she's paraded through the streets of Kathmandu. So she was very pleased at that. And they did a 150 wheelchair users last year. And Cecile's going out to Kathmandu on Sunday, I think it is, to get involved in next week's where they're going to have big celebrations. And they've invited me to Skype in and speak live to everyone there on the morning of the event in Kathmandu, which is yeah. fantastic. So that's that's the fourth year they're celebrating. Okay. So well, that's that's around about just after 12.30. Then at uh, so after about 1.30, we're hoping to get a, a call with a guy called Mizanur Rahman Kiran from Bangladesh. Minazur Rahman Kiran. Mi Minazur Rahman Kiran, I think is the name. All right. Now, he's coming in from Bangladesh. I only recently got in touch with him, a connection I made through LinkedIn. He's involved with the the University of Dakar, and he's gonna he's 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 concerned and trying to make life better for students. And, and so and let me ask you some uh, tough questions. I mean, you know, people these days are super sensitive about their religion, about their country of origin, about their sexuality, about disability. I've just been teaching upstairs on disability and equality, and yeah. uh, why are people so sensitive and scared? I mean, you're the opposite. Uh, what have you got for, for starters? As a doctor, may I ask you, what, what, what issues do you have that are different from what issues I have? Um, difficult question. You know, no, <laughs> are, are you in a wheelchair? I don't you. <laughs> are, are you in a wheelchair? Yes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. So what I'm takes not. you to that wheelchair? What makes you have a wheelchair? Um, well, I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome which means that my connective tissue is faulty. So all my joints aren't, are too loose. They bend too far. So hypermobile. Yes. Okay. Very hypermobile. Okay. So uh, uh, whereas uh, yoga practitioners try so hard to do things that you can do in a jiffy. Oh, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. um, I bend so far that then joints will come out of line. Okay. So you get dislocated. Yeah. All right. Sublux usually. Okay. So, Subluxate. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so, so I, Okay. It's quite normal for me okay. to poke my joints back in line mid-conversation. 
<laughs> that must disconcert people. Well, it does, which is kind of partly where my business came from and my cartoons came from. <laughs> I behave unusually in public. And if I'm not confident with it and haven't got ways oh, to yes. explain it to people, people are going to freak out. I was just going to say they'll freak out, wouldn't they? And in Paris, people were killed for drawing some cartoons that others didn't like. And here you are drawing cartoons and laughing at your own self. Well, it's it's a really effective way of getting a message across. It's, for yes. example, one of... As part of the EDS, mm. because my veins are too stretchy, my blood pulls in my legs and belly, so mm. I don't get enough to my brain when I'm upright. And so I will get gradually worsening stroke-like symptoms. Mm. So I'll get to the point where I can't actually string a sentence together. Mm -hmm. Because your and brain isn't getting enough nourishment. Yeah, so it's like a mini stroke, only it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In like what it looks like, or it's like being drunk. So middle middle sentence, you look as if you're drunk and can't p p p p put your words together like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I might get like that by the end of this conversation if I do not worry. Eight, 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 right. <laughs> okay. Why are we three laughing when others get so sensitive and hurt about it? I think because I. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you yeah, at please. your difficulty. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not putting it down. I'm no. enjoying your being stupid about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's, it's, I've grown up with the condition. Mm. So I was only diagnosed when I was 24. So until then, I was just a bit quirky. Okay, with funny joints and kind of... Quite different in many mm, ways mm, mm, to mm. my peer group. But it's, it is how I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's face it. Mm. It is quite funny. Yeah. Like the other day, I was trying to say... I've built quite good biceps because of my wheelchair use. Instead, I said, I've got really good tricycles. <laughs> okay. just how? Yes, yes, yes. It's how um, you process the information and uh, experience is yeah. only how you process and experience. There's no experience apart from how we edit it and think about it, isn't yeah. it? So and you edit all your difficulties in a funny way. You laugh at it, you laugh with it, you cry with it. And yeah. uh, you're the better person for it. Yeah, I think so. And also, it's about appreciating what I have. Not yeah. what you yes. don't have. Yeah. Well, that's the way so, I look at it as well. Half Anna, full, half... It, yeah, you, yeah. you take, you take the, the positives out of your life. I, I, I sometimes look back and say, well, you know, I'm, I'm making a living as you are out of the fact that we've got, we've got problems and challenges. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> if, if we didn't have that, we, we, we wouldn't be who we are. So in your SWOT analysis, your wheelchair is your strength. It's, it's, it is, yes. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. It's, you know, we, we've, we've got a unique experience of, of, of something a lot of people haven't got. And yes. I, that's why I set up the National Wheelchair Day, to get people to share and come out of their shelves and be yes. more like you and me and, and several others to, yes. to, to get out there and celebrate. I mean, you... You get freedom. That's the number one aim of International Wheelchair Day. So you're celebrate celebrating the, the wheelchair, the not complaining gives. about no. what forces you to have a wheelchair. No, celebrate the freedom it gives you. I couldn't mm. get out yeah. about it. I guess you're probably similar. Mm. Yeah, it, that's something that um, a lot of people, because my condition, there's a lot of people with it who struggle for years without a wheelchair because you really don't want a wheelchair because yeah. of all the stigma. You're, you're not like them, so, yes. So well, this is what your cartoons get across, the stigma. I, I like to use them for that because it... But, Actually, you know, once I got the wheelchair, it was like my whole life opened up. Yes, a yes. A wheelchair isn't about restriction. It's about enabling Freedom. you to do mm, stuff. Mm, and mm, there mm. is nothing, one of my best moments, was I was at an event at the um, House of Commons. Mm. And they've got this really long metal ramp down to the security gates. Right, you do. And because I was in a wheelchair, I had to go through the accessible gate which led to an empty half of the ramp rather than people queuing. So I got to pelt full speed, like roller coaster, down this ramp. It's probably about, you know, 10 metres long. <laughs> Brilliant sensation. Like, it's like running with the wind in your hair. It's yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you don't get that. Mm, in, in mm, no, so, yeah. It's not the case. So you're picking up the moments of pleasure instead of focusing on the difficulties. Yes. I mean, yeah, relations. And, but I think it's a case of you just appreciate that the limitations are there and you work around them, but then you appreciate the bits that you're not limit, limited in. Okay, okay. There is somebody else who's dialing, and should I be brave enough to try to get both of you on? <laughs> oh, my God. This is Cecile, Hannah, if she comes through. If you both are on, it'll be absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> oh, hannah has gone. Has she gone? Or? All right, let's see what happens here. Hannah has lost her, have you? 
That's her, that's Hannah. I think she's gone though now, isn't she? Okay. Let's try Hannah now. <laughs> okay. This is Hannah, yes. Hello, I'm back. You're yes. back. We lost you. Trying to be too <laughs> clever. Okay, we, we got a f still picture, but we will make it to movies very soon. Okay, so your whole attitude is how can I laugh at uh, and enjoy the moments I have and laugh at the moments that are difficult instead of yeah. complaining and being unhappy, you're processing yeah. the information in a different way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so is there a message you have for other wheelchair users apart from saying come to my wheel, uh, wheel, um, wheelchair, I'm saying, come to my internet uh, World Wide Web site and make <laughs> some money for me? Is there any other <laughs> message you have? Well, that, that is the main one, no. Okay, then go and tell us what's your uh, website address. It's stickmancommunications.co.uk. St stickmancommunications.co.uk. Yes. Stickman Communications. Stickman Communications. Okay. Well, well, we'll put we'll be putting this video out on the uh, on the internet. The doc puts it on YouTube within the next day or so, and we'll put a link on there so that you can uh, people can see it and obviously they see your face a little bit. We've got film of it on. Yes. So that bit bit will be on the on YouTube, and we'll put a link on so people will go and buy even more off you. <laughs> Bye, thank you. All right. Shall um, we try the other line if we right. Want? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you now, Hannah, but uh, no, I haven't spoken to you. We'll let, let you and I get together soon and have a, have a chat uh, on Skype ourselves offline and uh, we'll, uh, we'll build on what we've got already. It's, it's great to see you well and, and speak with you at last. Congratulations. Thank you I, for coming on Skype. I, You're the first person from Oxford on Skype. <laughs> two, two. Now we're going to try Austria, so we'll speak to you later. All, all the best. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. So now we're trying. Yeah. Cecilia. Yes. We have to disconnect that one. Yes. So this is Cecilia Knapp. Cecilia Knapp, yes. Cecilia. From Austria. So it's, it's nice to uh, talk to Steve first because he knows you more, I think. And then... I, well, I don't really. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, we've just we've just I don't know whether you have you been able to pick it up off the Internet. We've just been speaking with Hannah Renzo, the design, the logos. Yeah, it's fine. I'm I'm ready. I'm yeah. I'm I'm fine. Can okay. you see me? Yes, we, we can see, see you. Yes. yes. We've oh, just great, been great. we've just been speaking for about 15 minutes with Hannah Renzo. She's the girl that designed the official logo. Yeah, very good. So we've been speaking no with problem. her. So we're spreading out. She was Oxford. Now we're going to Austria. And we're going to Bangladesh <laughs> a little bit later on, but it, it's it's great to have you on. After uh, you know, we've uh, uh, it, it's it was one of the highlights of my life when I was in, in Adelaide, which you thought <laughs> I was living in on the uh, yeah. it was the twenty seventh, I think, of, of February night, twenty twelve, when you sent me that email to say you were going to have this fantastic event, and we hadn't been in touch, and and it was great to to see that uh, you, you had bought into the concept so so wonderfully, and uh, you know I was proud to see there was ninety people we going through the streets and then obviously you've grown it on year on year which is fantastic and now seeing the official logo there which Hannah herself was delighted to see her her cartoon character paraded through the streets of Kathmandu it was fantastic but you have it you seem to have a great bond with those group over there I, I think be useful to hear more how you've got involved and in, and in, uh, you know what your plans are for this year which I think you, you mentioned we're going to be even bigger and better than ever yeah it started with my call it started with uh, with getting in contact with you because uh, we were just looking for having an event uh, to be able to to put the wheelchair users in front of the attention in in Kathmandu in Nepal because so, so many problems of accessibilities and and the people not so much trusting in their own power so we said we have to empower these people and I was working for the Spinal Center at this time. And um, and the workers said, okay, we'll just give our time and our energy and we want to go on the streets with the wheelchair users and do something. And we were Googling and finding out the International, International Wheelchair Day. And so uh, we said, oh, that, that's a good idea. I mean, the wheelchair, that's the accessibility problem. And then I was trying to get in contact with you. And I mean, sincerely speaking, 2012, in two weeks, we we just managed to to do the event. Yeah, so it, it doesn't was, take long uh, sometimes to put something together. This is the thing that it was, uh, it was a 
total uh, improvisation and we didn't know what what would happen <laughs> so but that's so, the beauty isn't it, was, it of creativity it, uh, it was it, some fantastic pictures come with vans and all yeah. the people and you had badges on the shirts already but, but it brings the world together never this, mind yeah. disabled people it and, brings yeah. everyone together and you did exactly yeah. what i wanted i put it out there and this is what i'm hoping year on year it mm. becomes viral and, and and yeah i put your stuff out and, mm. and it's around facebook now that, mm. that more and more people will see it and i think that's how it's worked over the years because a lot of the people, I mean, we, you, you did get in touch with me and tell me we're going to do something. So we've connected over the years. But there's a lot of people who are, have just seen it somewhere and done something. And we, I don't even yeah. know who they are. You know, I find yeah. out usually by Googling <laughs> after the event, yes. which is fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. Yeah, and we, we just wanted to know if it's possible to use the logo, if it's possible, if it's allowed for us to yes, kind of very celebrate much so, it yes, officially. Because, yeah. Yes, it is. And That's the, one of the things on the website is that we're, Hannah's done a slightly different logo every year. Well, obviously, we've got to change the year. Um, I think last year you doctored the previous years by looking at the pictures, but that's fine. That's <laughs> yeah. not a problem. But um, if, if you haven't done it, yes, there's an official one. You download yeah, them off yeah. the website. There's, there should be a, a zip file there with the, the various versions. There's a circular one. There's a, um, there's a you know, sometimes that's useful for putting on a shirt if you don't want to put the wide one on. And the, yeah. the big one, I, I, you know, seeing that banner going through the streets is brilliant. We're leading the, leading the parades. With the, and last yeah. year's was fantastic with the traffic police patrol vehicle in front. You know, the, yeah. you've actually got the police stopping the traffic and let you go. But through. that is a beauty. I mean, you came up with a small idea, but it wasn't. When you started it, Stephen, it was just one man and his idea. Well, that was it. I just but did suddenly we're talking to Austria. Yeah. We'll be talking to Bangladesh next. Yes. You, we just talked to Oxford. Yes. And it's the quality of the idea, not who's mm -hmm. done it, not where it's done from, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would agree. And I would say also that uh, because it's about the wheelchair and mm. then the wheelchair users, it's, it's, it's kind of positive, yes, positively yes. neutral, you know, because it says, okay, you can do something with it. And also it helps people to look at it differently, meaning yes. that it's a, it's, a, it's a vehicle, it's a possibility, it's a, it's a way to... To be able to move, yes. yeah, it's, it's, it's an it's enabler. Not a, well, that, that's stigmatization. Yeah. That's mm. the number one aim, as as you know, and and, and it's to, it's to celebrate the freedom a wheelchair gives. And 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 you know, I certainly couldn't get around everywhere. We've just been talking to Hannah, and she's the same that that her wheelchair gives her freedom. And all those guys and yeah. girls over in in in, in Kathmandu, Kathmandu and the rest mm. of the world who are using wheelchairs, you, you're going to be stuck somewhere if you haven't got one. And mm. it's it's not a so it's such a, a boon. negative thing being yes. in a wheelchair. It's it's a it's a positive gives you freedom. Mm. So that's mm. the number one aim. Mm. The second aim, which is yourself and all the the support people in in uh, in Nepal who are supporting and helping people in wheelchairs. That's the other thing we're celebrating. And as as you probably know from that part of the world, there's a lot of people haven't got the right wheelchairs. And, and mm. uh, you know we're trying. Well, to I, I know in well. Delhi. In, in India, in Delhi, you can go near All India Institute of Medical Sciences and you get wheelchairs which are quite crude oh, and yes. heavy and rough for those who can afford it. Yes. But the poorer people get something like a rickshaw mm -hmm. where they sit on the back and pedal with the hands. Yes. So they're using the hands to pedal mm -hmm. the wheels. I mean, it does the job, but it doesn't, isn't very graceful. It's slightly demeaning. Mm -hmm. You look very awkward in it. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done. But I think what you guys are doing in a poorer country like Nepal is far more important than the wheelchair access we are doing in Britain. You know, you're reaching out to the real needy people whose lives change yes. so much more with very minor investment. And the government I can. think in Nepal, you know, the dream also in Nepal is that there is a community, an international community, also concerned. Means wheelchair user uh, with each other, mm. you know, helping each other, mm -hmm. and also uh, getting in a certain way uh, um, to see to see how things are going on in other countries. Mm. But also, you know, like even when there is a wheelchair user coming visiting Nepal mm. and people can see uh, that, that there are people in wheelchair who, who just manage their life properly. And can come on tour they're, tourism, yeah, come all are, the way across. There are ac accessible tourism uh, mm. uh, organizations. I mean, we were working with them then mm. with uh, within the wheelchair day. Mm. It helped us also to get in contact with accessible tourism. Mm. Mm. And they got <laughs> okay. involved and interested and they said, you know, we want to do something, but we need, of course, the tourists to come. We need the wheelchair users to come. Yes. Yeah, yes. So I think there's also a possibility to get uh, get people, you know, kind of curious and saying, okay, I could, yes. I see there also wheelchair users there. I could yes. maybe come and visit Nepal also. Yes. Although it's a it's a mountainous country and yes. so. Yes. And very interesting so things, you know. I mean, yes, uh, last uh, show we had a, a wheelchair that goes anywhere with big fat wheels, 
And yeah. so you yeah, can I'll take it off. the video link. I don't know if you have, you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, but beyond all that, w- without the prime ministers of country talking, without the military killing each other, you're connecting internationally. Who cares yeah. whether it's through cricket yeah. or food or wheelchair? You are still linking people, humans, internationally. You're helping Nepal, which is a fairly poor country, with uh, tourism. You're reminding me of a young girl whose name, sadly, I forget, who was in a train about three, four, five years ago. And she was a volley, international volleyball player for India. And somebody tried to snatch her chain and she quite rightfully fought back. He threw her out and she got one of her legs cut off by the train. She recovered so much that a year and a half ago, she walked up to the base camp. Mm. So when you see people like that, you feel so ashamed saying, I can't even walk a, a, a mile without taking my car. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's an inspirational thing for the non-wheelchair yeah. user instead of, oh, let's pity them and shut them out. Mm-hmm. Because pity is a very convenient way of saying, ah, oh, poor you, now shut up, I don't want to talk to you. And I think that's the, that's the good thing. I mean, looking at the videos you've had over the previous years, you, you can see yeah. people are having fun doing what they're doing on the day, which probably means it's happening And all despite the time. being a wheelchair, you're allowed fun. Yes. You're allowed to laugh. You're allowed to crack jokes. You're allowed to be on comedy shows. You're allowed to be the icon for Gateshead and all sorts of interesting things. You're allowed to have Paralympics. In fact, sometimes I feel envious, you know. Mm. It's, you know, children with asthma, being a doctor, let me put this in, that they started doing swimming classes and then they became the best athletes. Mm. Because what you don't have in one field, you can definitely compensate and yes. overcompensate right. in others. So, I mean, look at you. You have a full life. Yes. If you're in a wheelchair, you might have been just another boring Jody drinking beer and watching football, <laughs> isn't it? But I you do f- that within a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, He's doing everything, yeah. everything, even this. <laughs> yes, even this, even radio station, talking internationally. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't have a wheelchair, why, why do I have been talking to this? Well, it's, it's amazing how connections come. I mean, I met the doc last year for the first time around about yes. August at a speaking club. We are, we have involved with Toastmasters. I don't know if you've ever heard of that uh, it's, 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 speaking. It's all these are the speaking world. clubs where you stand up and speak and we, we met through that last August and he's come on the show and uh, I came on once and then I'm here every week and he calls me a producer now. he's a producer so, of a producer, the Thursday and show and I'm producing this fantastic show that yes. is, is speaking to you well you're in, bringing the world you're you bringing the whole little, world into Spice FM yes, how can I have a little radio station <laughs> in Yes, in Newcastle but upon what, Tyne is what, speaking live to Austria, and yeah. all the people are going to say that tomorrow. And, and once, once you're on, in, uh, on air, once you're on the internet, you're covering the world, and we are videoing this. Yes, so it's an international television studio, Spice FM. Yes, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> There's no money. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But if you don't have money, you have passion. Yes, well, because money can change, but the tail can wag the dog. Mm. Would you agree that if there's funds and all that, then there's no passion in it? You know, if you marry a woman or a man. Because they got money, you don't need passion. You just need a bank account. <laughs> but but if you're doing it for passion, the card. money is helpful, but money is not the issue. Yeah. No, but I would say even passion is sometimes coming. Um, you know, coming when when you don't have so many possibilities. You know, mm. financially speaking. Like I'm sitting here in Austria. I'm 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 in Nepal in two days. Uh huh. Organizing International Wheelchair Day wow, wow. with them there. They are quite ready already. Mm. They're just waiting to to get some things, but they are they are doing fine. So what are you what are your plans uh, for this year? But in Austria, there's nothing happens. Still nothing happens. Okay, it doesn't oh. matter. Doesn't matter. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you sell the goods where it yeah, is. Yeah. When so we what, do Indian, tell, tell us what's going to happen this year in, in Nepal. In Nepal, yeah. <clears throat> Apart yeah. from me speaking live at silly hours of the day over here, but um, I'm, yeah. I'm delighted that you've invited me to do that. I don't know how, how it's going to work. Is it going to be some big screening? Yeah, no, so, I mean, the big screen will be difficult, but we'll try to get a bigger screen than a, than a normal computer. Right. Uh, but what will happen is that we'll do the rally. This is, we walk in the center of Kathmandu. Uh, and this year, I mean, the, the slogan is, is very nice. It's moving forward. Yes. It's overcoming all obstacles. All and obstacles. They, mm. Yeah. And so in, in, in Nepal, yeah, we'll try, try to do it in Nepal. It's Agadi Bardai, Abarod Panchai. Panchao Dai. This means we are moving forward. And um, we always have a theme to show what wheelchair users can do and so on. Mm. So last year there were painters painting on the spot. And this year there will be musicians making music on the spot. Wow. Three years ago we had this kind of of, uh, dance Dance, dance from the sport associations, which was great. And so this year we'll we'll try to have music and moving forward. This means that people will, I think, also dance and having fun. And there is a um, um, an expectation because last year we 
we, we are growing, still growing. We had uh, 92 wheelchair users in the first wow. year in 2012, wow. and we were 242 people. In 2013, we were like almost 300 people and 126 oh uh, wheelchair users. Last year, it was 143 wheelchair users and 430 people. Wow. All in all. Wow. So this year maybe we'll make the 500. Oh, I don't know. Fantastic. Well, fantastic. Okay. How so is it? Quite, um, a big, you know, like many people. <laughs> well, I guess what happens is those that have been this year will tell others. And inspire the others. It's a good out fun day out. And, uh, I, I. What about next yeah. Thursday? You coming on live again through Skype from Kathmandu. Oh, yeah, this would be great. Well, yeah, you're welcome. Be, yes, well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you what's exactly, because now we are trying to get also one very famous singer. She's a nun, a Tibetan nun. She's called Anichori Dolma, and she's, she's very well known in, in Nepal. And she might also sing and pray for us ah. on this day, so we hope. Wow, wow. Yeah. And uh, then I can, on Thursday, I think I'm sure if this will going to work out. We are on from and 12 to 2. So in Nepal, yeah. probably you're five and a half hours yeah, ahead. that's not a problem. Is that how far ahead of uh, so about British time? 7 o'clock at night, I think, will it be around about then? <clears throat> no, no, oh, it'll be 5 to uh, 7.30. 5.30 to 7.30. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? In Nepal time, yeah, Indian time are the oh, same, yes, I yes. guess, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be, yes, that's right, 5.30. So 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Will there be enough sunshine at that time? It's nearer the equator. <laughs> I think there will be light still. Will it be outside? Yeah. All right. You're going to be outside. <laughs> aye, where aye? It's not happening next Thursday. No, but but next no, Thursday. An, but you're there next, next Thursday. There, yes. So you I'm just there. communicate, say hello to us yes, if you can. If you can. Of course, of course. It'll be, we've never had I anyone can from. Get some people together. Don't worry. Oh, we well, we've never even it. spoken to uh, Nepal live. Never no, mind having no, a video link. By, the furthest would be is Egypt. Yes. We're, we're about, <laughs> On the Nile River. In half an hour. Half an hour. We're going to Bangladesh. Excuse me. Sing up. Singapore. Oh, Singapore. No, not not one of the program I've produced. Have you gone? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, she's oh? there. Yes. All right. You're okay, frozen. I'm there. I'm Your there. picture's frozen, but you're still speaking. Yeah, I'm there. Yes, we're gonna. Yeah, if I can say something, you know, also uh, concerning the people who are helping us, because they're the wheelchair users, and they are doing also a lot of this works. Uh, you know, like the painters who painted last time, they were both on wheelchairs. Yes. And they have also created a kind of movement to try to uh, make one area, which is Jopati area, more accessible. So maybe I can try to get them and, and show you show you the, the place where it's more yes, accessible. Yes, oh, that's probably great, because that, that's yeah. the thing we can tell the world, that here is a group of people who have got together and done it. And I think that's a message. If we can get that message spread out, then there's no reason why in other parts of the world other people can follow. Also, Celia, with modern technology, even an iPhone uh, can be uh, used even an iPhone yeah. can be used for connection. That's what we had from uh, the Nile. Mm -hmm. That's and, right, we did. Uh, my brother used the laptop in Singapore. But, you know, it's so fascinating to talk to people from just any part of the world. And it's free. Yes. Very few yeah. things in life are free. You know, there's no free lunch, they say. But Skype is free. And sometimes frozen. So, I'm sorry, Celia. <laughs> We're not, you're not I know you're from moment. Austria, but you're frozen now. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still frozen? Yes. yes. Hello? Frozen. Are we moving? Oh, are we all right for you? Do Am I... I moving? No. No, no you're frozen. Okay. I don't Move think you can hands, do anything no? about that. I think we're... Uh, see, do you see my hands? No, no you, you can see my hands waving. Can you? <laughs> yes, I That's can. That's me. All right. No, we're hearing you perfectly, but not you're not moving, so... Okay. Well, it's free, you know. You don't call, uh, count a gift, ho gift oh, horse no, and no, teeth. No, the fact that we can communicate <laughs> from this part... Well, it's, it's hearing what you've okay. got to say, which is fantastic. So, so every yeah. Thursday, Celia, the producer here is here. So that is uh, Steve Wheelchair. Do you know his name is Steve Wheelchair? Did you know Wheelchair that? Wheelchair Steve. Wheelchair Steve. Wheelchair Steve. Steve. Yeah. You know Wheelchair that. Steve. He's, uh, he's just turned um, a drama into he's a my, crisis. For me, he's an Australian, but he's not. So. No, no, I'm not Australian. <laughs> and not even no, Austrian. No, that's where you... No, no I, I went to Australia. I just got family in Australia, so... Yeah. Uh, but that you're not confusing was, Austria with Australia. No, well, I was it's just you thought I was in Australia next, when we're doing international, with international day. Yes. So the yeah, connection time was more pleasant. But I shall stay up. And I think it's about two o'clock in the morning. You want me to speak it, something like that, in, yeah, in UK. Like that. But I'll, I'll stay up and watch the cricket. England's playing Sri Lanka in the in the World Cup. So I'll stay up and watch that. And I'll, I'll, I'll it'd be great to speak to everybody at. Uh, Great. Something in the morning, eight o'clock, I think. Did you say there in the morning there, around about that sort of time? Yes, something like that. Yeah. So it'll be great to do that. And let, let's build on this, Cecilia, into next year, because I think, mm. you know, are you going back to Austria straight after? Yeah, I'll stay one week more and see what this, the Spinal Centre is doing, because they have also, you know, they have their, their 
annual reports and so to see how they are moving forward. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'll, I'll come back. Yeah. Well, certainly just, let's hope when you get back and we'll, we'll connect. And, and as you said last week in the message, we'll, we'll try and meet up and, and make Great. it. And I, but I think, we, you know, what, you're, what you've started over there is something we can spread around the world. And, Absolutely. And, and I think that it's a catalyst for, for you guys over there. And, and really, yeah. when you get there, thank everybody for what they've done. In, in helping me get yes. this this uh, yes. this brand, that's all it is. It's a brand. It's nothing to do with me. It's 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 taken off. It's got its, its own, own life. It's got its own life. Yes, mm. and, and I think we can make it bigger. We've, we had there was something happened in the USA last year that that was very small. Some organisation gave twelve wheelchairs, but that's a start. We yeah, had yeah, Senegal, yeah, yeah. We had a, we had a rally in Senegal, and and you know things are starting to happen. So from no, it's like with us in Nepal. I mean, you gave us the possibility to use this day. We were looking for a, an opportunity to express ourselves yes. and to, to empower the people who are in wheelchair there and to get the people networking. And it happened, you know. Yes. And uh, what I think is that this, you know, and you can see now at the start, it was only the spinal center organ. Okay, now she's fully gone. Oh, have you gone? Okay. Well, well, no, ah, you come back, you come back. So, again, as I say, it's free. So, you're welcome to not complain. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you very much. We'll let you go now. See you next Thursday. You just ring in. And we don't mind our show being totally live at 12. We can say, okay, can you come back in 15 minutes? Uh, it's a white screen. Now, we've got somebody. She is trying again, I think. Is she? Let's see. Okay, I, I would let it go and then we'll, we'll carry on from there. Okay, okay. so just, now we're off Skype. Just message and just say thank you, we'll get yeah. in touch. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so next Thursday. Next Thursday. Well, that's two out of three so far. What a, what a great success. We've yes. now gone from Oxford to Austria <laughs> and we'll have a policeman coming in in the next however long. And then we're going to go to Bangladesh mm. Mm. at... After one o'clock, something. After one o'clock, you're expecting a policeman. Yeah. So, how, how are you finding all this, um, all, all that you dreamt of and oh, you fantastic. thought of, I mean, and it's actually huge. taking oh, she's shape? Back again, she's come back. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, you're oh, back. Oh, you're, 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 moving. you're mobile and again. You're moving, again. moving pictures all over again. Oh, great. Hello. <laughs> yeah, no. So th that's that's Skype. That's but still we are connected. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We don't complain yeah. because it's free. So yeah, so no, what, it's, it's, what I wanted just to to, please, to, fit, please, to please, say, you know, say is it. that for, for me it's it's so interesting that now from one organization who was just I mean it was just the staff association of the spinal center who wanted to do something for their former patients, and from there, you know, thanks to the the wheelchair day, mm. uh, people now they understand this, they understand the message. And we have now six organizations who are working together. There is no, you know, like this. Sometimes they're like, especially in developing countries, you know, you have this conflict of interests. Yes, yes. Who is the donor? Who is giving money? Yeah, yeah, all that and stuff. And for the wheelchair day, there is no, there is so no. So none of, of those uh, hang-ups. Yes, yeah. fantastic. Everybody together. It's really wow. clear. It's for the wheelchair <laughs> users, fantastic. and it's everybody together. So I think that's that's also something that other countries can pick up exactly what I feel that through the wheelchair user and the families you're connecting people from all over the world yeah. I think we don't got... need politicians we don't need militaries mm -hmm. uh, whether it's food but even or more, you know we had we had people we had politicians coming uh, we had from the National Assembly someone coming we had from uh, from the ministry someone coming to the wheelchair day so I think it's something you know it's just like an event which oh. is for the people and so even even the officials they want to come and okay. that's so that, that's mm -hmm. very positive and I think that's it that's a message and, and, and hopefully it'll go out from what you're telling us now or we can put it out or you can put it out again but I think it's 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 demonstrating that if you can do it there you can do it anywhere and yeah. I think there's a yeah. lot of parts and, and certainly even yeah. in the UK people aren't coming together yes. in in the way but that But anyway like. it is whether it's through food like I said through yes. music through any any excuse get the people together wheelchair yes. Yeah. So wheelchair is getting yes. people together. Fantastic. You don't have to be a wheelchair user to go to International Wheelchair Day. No, no, we, say, we say we have ours. You know, this is a celebration. Yes. This, is a, this, is, this is visibility. And then yes. there were like children in, in wheelchair from one association. They have never seen other wheelchair users. That's yes, because they're the so few. Time, yes, yes. Yeah, they were, they were themselves in wheelchair. Yeah, But they were always on their compound and roaming around and mm -hmm. this. And then they, they say, you know, you see... 143 wheelchair <laughs> users on one 
and suddenly Spot it becomes it. very ordinary. Yes, every so every, they say, oh yeah, yeah. The know, others like me. Fine. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So you don't feel so emotionally or socially isolated. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. And you can and you do it for a you know like for a kind of party time for a kind of ah. you know uh, sh showing that we are here but not it's not such a big uh, deal you know. Yeah it's yeah not yeah yeah it's just ordinary where, where we, yeah yeah oh you're yeah. in a wheelchair because, okay fine. Just like that, instead of, what? You're in a wheelchair. If I talk to you, I might catch it. <laughs> 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 well, it is yeah. people fear. I mean, I, I've run training courses where I, I, I just ask people to sit in a wheelchair and, and they won't do it. They're frightened. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah. and it, I mean, this is, the, this is the other part I want to try and get international wheelchair to do is to get people who aren't wheelchair users to spend a little bit of time and do and do normal life, not just sit in a one. And, like play yeah, table and tennis and heat on We're going to play table tennis. We as a group of us are going to go, some people who are, in wheelchairs myself and, and more and uh, others that aren't and just be in a wheelchair and play table tennis at the mosque yep. on the on So the, you know it's afternoon. cutting across a lot of things it's about uh, wheelchair not wheelchair it's about uh, foreigner and Britain it's about Muslim not Muslim it cut, cuts across all those layers and reaches the human spirit So maybe a wheelchair can solve all the world's problems I think so Yes you know, <laughs> use that as the vehicle Yeah but the wheelchair is not world. designed for vegetarians non-vegetarians no, or Muslims it's, it's, or Hindus yeah. or Christians yeah. or atheists a yeah. wheelchair is a a wheelchair. wheelchair. And the thing <laughs> okay. is then is well if if more people use them for fun and leisure we'll get the price down and you'll be able to get mm. even more. Mm. Mm. Tell me is is there a shortage of wheelchairs in in, in Nepal or, or everybody that needs one get I one? I think that the the, the, the biggest problem that they face is of course uh, that uh, you know the 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 high paraplegic or so they they have the problem to get the motorized wheelchairs. Yes. Uh, but the other thing is that because of the rough uh, the the you know the rough um, Road yeah. and everything. I mean, they have now wheelchairs with a wheel in front, which makes it easier. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. And so what I think is what is very important is to get good wheelchairs, but also to get them adapted yes. to, to that terrain. To the situation. Well, that, 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 yeah. that wheelchair that, that, that was saw, you saw last week, which, and I don't know if you just heard the, the guy talk about it, they call it Rough Rider. They're, they're developing it because they're, their son, who I know, is is uh, is in a wheelchair, but they're trying to get it so that they could take him on the beach. They used to take him on the beach when he yep. was younger. Um, when he when he was able to lift them on, but now they can it. So they wanted to get a one that would adapt. But those sort of chairs are, are, are several thousand pounds to buy. So they're trying yeah. to develop something that will clip onto a normal wheelchair. So you 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 know when it's properly in development, you could have you maybe only need a few in in the say the spinal centre, I and mean, everybody can use it because they can swap between the chairs to go onto it and go into the, yeah. the rougher areas, which is, exactly. is, is great. It's a bit like snow. You know I would say like uh, like the spinal center, you know, what I think is that what would be good is just that if they have a possibility to send it so that they can try it. Yes, yeah. yes. well, it's still because in the development, then... but I think we'll, we'll find a way to get it developed because it, they obviously want to sell no, but, it. But you know what, she's bringing a very important point. If, uh, if uh, Philip's uh, yeah. uh, organization... Once you try it in Australia, you got an agent there. Yes. If you want in Bangladesh, let's, you got an agent. Start, if you want it in Oxford, you got an agent let's have there. It international yeah. before we've even yeah. started. But no, but but that's the whole point, you know. You're linking people with possibilities, and and like you're saying quite rightly, that we are connecting suddenly to very big people and very big mm -hmm. ideas from being just an idea in your head in Kingston Park, Steve. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, certainly. Yes. But we'll certainly get them in, you know, obviously we'll get you connected to, to Rod and Phil that, that run it and see how we can get it. So it, next Thursday, let's, a, let's have her on. I think uh, we'll if they can come, they're welcome. We'll get them on next week. If you can come on Thursday, we'll get we'll get them on again and see if we can have a, a link. Right, because on once and, there's a face-to-face -face link, you just pick up the phone and talk to people. If yes. not, you're diffident, you write emails or letters, pigeon mail. But when you become open, then you can just talk yeah. on Skype or phone. Fantastic. Thank St you. Steve, I think it's the wheelchair day, but it's also very important that it's coming from one person because I think most of the time it's the person also who gives you the link, you know, like everybody knows now, uh, Steve, uh, uh. you know. Well, that's part of it. If, if they get to trust me as a person, then know that it's you're the portal, a commercial you're the scam. I mean, mm. that's the first thing you think, oh, it's a commercial scam, this. And it's, it, you know, by getting the opportunity to speak with you now and you, you saying yeah. good things about it, as, as Hannah's done earlier on, it, it starts to get the credibility of the whole thing out. Yes. And that's what it, Without and it, it just it, being a money-making racket. You made a fantastic 20 minutes here, and mm. I think it'll make great stuff on YouTube, and obviously you spread it out, and we'll we'll get it out on Facebooks and, and, and other other media, and, and I think that'll that'll help people to understand what it's about, and I think that'll 
help it to take off because it can t- really take off big. So we're thinking of instead of Arab Springs, we'll have uh, wheelchair springs. Wheelchair springs. <laughs> yeah. And they have to greet you, you know, because I was on Skype also this morning with uh, with the people from from the Spinal Center. All right. We're very excited that that I that I would speak here. So they That's they great. wanted to greet you too. You That's know? wonderful. Yeah. So, so, so this will this will be nicely edited and put on YouTube tonight. Well, I'll link it to Steve, of course, and he'll pass it so on. When, to are, when are you setting off to go right. to Nepal? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. Are yeah. No, when, when are you going? You from no, Nepal when, next, are you, when are you leaving? Yeah? To when go? are you leaving? When are you going? When are you leaving for Nepal? I'm I'm taking my plane on Saturday. Okay. Saturday, Saturday and okay. I will be there Sunday morning. I right. Okay. Well, this will be up in uh, we'll get, within we'll the day. We'll get a message to you as soon as it's there, somehow or other, and uh, you can you can show them what happens and everything. Ah, great. Well, it's be been happy. great to have you on. We've got to come up to the break at one o'clock. So okay. it's been lovely to see you and lovely to speak. And you've said some fantastic things which will help International Wheelchair Day grow in, around the world. So it, it's been lovely speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Anand. It was it's a pleasure, pleasure for it's me pleasure. to meet you. It's, Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. I mean, I mean, Zafar is a canny lad, mind. He's a canny lad. Oh yes, he's, he's just an, he, he, another Geordie, you know. Yes, he is. He's he's one of us. Hi, he's and certainly he, one of us. He I, wears a Newcastle scarf, but he doesn't support them. But the so, only problem is he's got a pen that is mightier than the sword. <laughs> it yes, explodes. He's got a dangerous pen. Yes, and it, I have to say that he gave me a lovely curry last week, which didn't explode as much as we feared. So that ah. was. Uh, but my wife wouldn't go anywhere near okay. me for a couple of days. So okay. Do, do Do you mind if I play some very soft music from the internet in the meantime? Not at all. And. No. It's just to remind my Asian friends that we do also like Hindi film music, but what we are doing now is completely different, and we are doing a show on uh, wheelchairs, and it is in English. Uh, we haven't given up speaking Hindi or Urdu, but the whole point is that we are also here, and I talk about integration. By that I mean celebrate Christmas, get involved. I mean getting three white failed Christians. I, even me, a Hindu, I never think of it like that. But I'm just stating the obvious is going to Heaton Mosque and not even to pray. A very good afternoon to you. It's Dr. Anand here with my friend Steve. Steve Wilkinson or Steve Wheel Can Sell. Wheel Can Sell. We can sell any wheel any you wheel, like. Anywhere. Well, they are floppy wheels, hard wheels, narrow wheels, thin wheels. If I get orders for wheels now and inquiries. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, something interesting is going to happen. We are soon going to have people on uh, Skype. Uh, you, you're going to bring some guests in today, aren't you? Yes, we're going to have a, a special International Wheelchair Day program today. Uh-huh. It's uh, it's 10 days until International Wheelchair Day on Sunday 1st of March. Yeah. We've just found out today we've got a special table tennis game, a wheelchair table tennis going to take place at Heaton Mosque with Zafar. S- s- say that very slowly. Zafar Bhatti. Zafar Bhatti, our no, wonderful... No, he's not, a, he's not Nora Bhatti. Nora Bhatti. He's Zafar Bhatti. Zafar Bhatti. Bhatti. Our wonderful uh, meal cook, curry yes. cook, okay, who gave me And a with a cook. gorgeous, lovely, small beard. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> has enticed three of you white Englishmen <laughs> to go to the mosque not to pray, but to play table, table tennis, tennis in, a which I think is, in a wheelchair. You in a wheelchair. Yes, it's, ah. and it's marvellous. So who all are going? You're going. So we're, we're going. We're going to get Tom Fennick brown to go, and we'll make it one or two so more. So Tom Fennick brown who's neither in the Fennick's department, nor is he brown in colour. <laughs> <laughs> and? And me. And? And uh, we haven't got anybody, but the doc's going to come with his camera. Yes, I'll, I'll film the whole film thing. film it, and so we'll put that out. first, isn't it? And Sunday the 1st of Mar- May, March, sorry, for, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to film it. We're going to film it. And then we'll run it on, on radio okay, on one of yes. our shows. And, so, uh, but that's a that's okay. a bringing everybody together to celebrate Wheel- International Wheelchair Day. So that's great. It's Zafar, but he's going to put that great event together. No. Okay, but to play table tennis. Is it... Pray table tennis or play? Play table tennis. Because I remember Bill Gates used to say, plug and pray. No, was it plug, plug and pray? <laughs> You've got a lift. Have you lift. got a lift? Oh, I'm, I can't say this. It's a bit, a bit crude. I won't say it today. I'm just being very polite today. So we're expecting some people. Yes. From the now, in- what this is, International Wheelchair Day, I started in 1st of March 2008. So this is the eighth annual International Wheelchair Day. And in 2011, 
uh, it, people found it on the internet and started contributing to it. In 2011, our first guest, which will be coming on about quarter past 12, is a young lady called Hannah Enso from Oxford. Hannah Enso Hannah from... Enso from Oxford. Uh, uh-huh, UK. Hannah does some brilliant cartoons. She's got a, a, a website called Stickman Communications. She does humour about disability and some really great stuff that you get on there and you can buy little books and pens and all sorts of things. So so she's she, making disability, non-disabled people well, yes, friendly. Uh, it, it, I think it's educational that some of the yes, stuff she does because yes, yes. it, 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 it takes a lighter look at disability and the challenges. Instead of being heavy things. and yeah, passing laws and, and, yes, and all that. And yes. So Hannah's going to come on about quarter past 12. Hannah's uh, greatly contributed to International Wheelchair Day over the years because she first did a logo in 2011. And I invited her to do the logo every year. So every year since, she's designed the official logo. So if you go to the website, which is www.internationalwheelchairday.com. www.internationalwheelchairday.com. Yes, all one word, International Wheelchair Day. And if you have a look on there, logos are all over the place. You can download the official logo from the top and use it for your event. And these are all Hannah's designs. So it's helping Hannah to get the get her beautiful cartoon sketches out in the into the world. So she's going to come and... Because, talk. you know, you can make something so precious that people don't want to talk. I mean, if, uh, you know, I had an attitude to wheelch- people in wheelchair, right? I have. I like yes. it. <laughs> but if you were... How dare you say this all the time? Oh, yes. You go to McDonald's.